Do you want to learn how to draw this adorable little gnome? If so, you are going to need something to draw with. Something to erase any mistakes that you might make. Any marker to outline your doodle. And don't forget, crayons and markers, colored pencils with paint. You need those so you can add color to this awesome doodle. Grab all those supplies, guys, and let's get started. draw one of those famous little gnomes that I swear I have seen all winter long. <laughs> so I'm going to start with a big oval for my gnome's nose. So these little gnomes or these little Santa gnomes or things, you've probably seen them a lot during the winter. They have big hats, big beards, and all you kind of see is just a nose in the middle. So we're going to start with that nose. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go around on the sides here and we're going to come up to about the middle of the nose skip the nose go down and do the same thing and this is going to be the brim around the hat okay so then i just kind of doubled my line and now i'm going to kind of go in and just add some bumps i'm going to kind of work my way up i'm going to add in some wrinkles because the hat's just kind of there if that makes sense <laughs> And I'm going to kind of have it turned over here. So let me go ahead and do this whole top here. Yeah, maybe we'll come down a little bit there. So I'm going to have a little shamrock hanging off of it. So we can come down there, up. I need some more wrinkles. So there's a wrinkle. There's a wrinkle. Then maybe it can kind of flop out and down. Wrinkle and a wrinkle. There we go. I just wanted it to have pretty good amount of wrinkles. I'm going to go, it's my trash falling out of my trash can. <laughs> I'm going to come over here and make a small line that's going to go down. This is the tip of his hat. And I want to make a shamrock. So to do a shamrock, an easy shamrock, you're going to make a heart, very wide heart. And then you're going to make another heart connected to it, wide heart, and another heart, wide heart. And you're just going to kind of let them all go together. And that's how you can make a little shamrock shape. <clears throat> I was going to try to do a four leaf clover, but that didn't work out. All right, now we're going to do his beard. So these guys have just big old poofy beards. I want to keep it even on both sides. So I'm going to kind of go left to right. In, 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 in. And I'm just lifting my marker up real quick in and then just maybe like a point in the middle here so we got his big old beard it's kind of rounded you see no face nothing he's just all beard all right down here at the bottom we'll do his shoes so just kind of like a big old curly shoe here and it can go back into his beard and a big old curved shoe here and it can go back into his beard and then we will go ahead and add just a very little bit of maybe a jacket here now on both sides a little bit of clothes and then all the way up at the top we're going to curve down and go in and these are going to be the sleeves of our gnome and then a little curved line for his hands looks super simple all right i'm not a big fan of my shamrock up there i don't like it okay let's get the markers we're going to start with his nose we're going to color that nose in with a little bit of peach okay his beard is going to stay white, so there's not going to be much there. If you want to make it gray, I'm sure you can. His hat. I'm going to go over it with my iguana green that I love oh so much. I love iguana green. It's like my favorite green. I'm going to color the whole hat in iguana green. And then I think I'm going to go in with like a darker green and add some polka dots or something. I don't know. His hat... I may not. I kind of like it like this. It's a little Christmassy, but I like it. If I don't add any red, it can't be Christmas, right? St. Patrick's Day. Plus, he's got a clover 
hanging from his hat. All right, so let's scribble that in real quick. Oh, he, I forgot he's got his outfit on. Let's make his whole outfit the same green, except for his mittens. Let's just make everything this green. I love my iguana green. Not his boots, his boots will be black. All right, let's go up to the awful shamrock. <laughs> Did a bad job drawing that. Let's try to fix it up a little bit. Maybe go outside of the lines. Try to make it a little neater. Okay. Let me get... I don't know whether I want black shoes. Let's do black shoes. I was going to do um, brown, but I think black is going to be better. So let's give it dark gray. Or, sorry, regular gray for... Let's give him black gloves, too. So gray base... And then, well, that's kind of drying. We're going to grab our crayons here, and we're going to go in with this really light gray, and we're going to give that beard a little shadow. So around the nose and the hat, we're going to have a shadow. And we're going to lighten up as we come down. Do the same thing up here. And we're going to lighten up as we come down. Okay, and then his beard is pretty good. I'm just going to add a little more and go down and down and down so it, it has a nice fade. Then we're going to go to his shoes. Let's do his shoes. We'll add our black in here. So real dark by his beard. And then they're going to be dark on the bottom. And his shoes should actually get a little lighter kind of towards the tip of the shoe or where like the more rounded part is. So the rest of that should be pretty black. And... Starting with that gray base just helps us give that a little value. Same thing with his mittens. A little value to those mittens. Oh my God, he's so cute. All right, let's grab this green. And we are going to start over here on his little outfit. I'm gonna come down. Actually, maybe I need brown. Now we'll try this. We'll give him a little value over here. It's a little bright, so it's not really Give it the value look that I want. I'm sorry. All right. And then up here, we're going to do the same thing with this brighter Kelly green. Wherever I have my little indents, we will add a little value. So wherever something is kind of overlapping, that's where you add your shadow. So right here, it's overlapping. We're going to add a little shadow. Right here, it's overlapping. We're going to add a little shadow. So anytime you have something on top of something else, it's going to create a little shadow. It's taking away that light from that area. All right, so we're going to add a little bit at the top, even though it's probably going to be a little brighter at the top. We're just going to give it a little depth, color it in a little bit. Come around here on his little hat, maybe a little bit down towards the bottom, definitely around the nose. And there's our adorable little noom. I do think he needs a little something on his nose here. Let's give him a little brownish color. Give him a little something, something. All right. So look at our little St. Patrick's Day -y gnome. I hope you had fun doodling with me today. If so, please like, subscribe, and share the video. Can't wait to see you guys again next time. Goodbye.